Let's talk about calming the traffic in Belmont. What, what yes, are... that's, a, that's a very common, common thing to say these days because, as you know, there's a lot of cut-through traffic. We that's deal right. with it every morning and every evening with those rush hour commutes. The town is trying to do something about it. The Transportation Advisory Committee, which was formed in January of 2019, this is one of their missions. Okay. So they have a traffic calming policy that they've drafted. They've been working on this for months. And people can look at it on the town website. All they right. want people to look at it and they want feedback from people who live in Belmont and people who even work in Belmont and may not even be residents. They want feedback on it by November 7th. And, and in essence, this is, a, this is a policy or plan for how the town is going to respond to... Yes, okay. I'll tell you a little bit about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> well, it, it's actually already, it already exists in Europe, okay. traffic calming mm -hmm. policy. So it's not anything totally new, but it'll be new to this and, area. And what it does is its goal is to reduce speed to reduce the number of crashes, mm -hmm. to reduce crashes altogether, and to make it safer for pedestrians and bicyclists and people taking public transportation. And the way they do that is not with stop signs and speed limits. There's a different method that, okay. that they're doing. They're, they're, they are actually making roads narrower, mm -hmm. adding bike lanes, adding roundabouts, maybe speed tables. That, they're physical and, changes and speed to speed tables roadways. are sort of akin to speed bumps? Yes, okay. yes, curb bump outs, mm -hmm. anything that will reduce speed and maybe deter cut through traffic and hopefully reduce crashes. That's all the, the three criteria that they want these um, areas to okay. meet. Okay. If, so the way it works is mm -hmm. if you live in a part of town or you work in a part of town where you know there's a problem, you go online and there's a form that you can fill out I think you need to get uh, so many signatures on this mm -hmm. form. You submit it to the town. The town will look at it and say, does this meet our criteria? Is this a speed an issue? Is cut through volume an issue and crashes? It has to meet those three criteria. Then it will go to Glenn Clancy, the town engineer, who will look at it and say, uh, he'll assess it, and okay. then he'll, he'll come up with recommendations. And now, it's a public process throughout. Now, now would I have to be... Would I have to live on the street for which? For Not which? necessarily. Okay. No, it could be somewhere where you drive every because, day. Or and, and that's walk. interesting because we're all aware of of of, of particular streets in the town right. that that are a real challenge to get across, whether as you know in a vehicle or as a pedestrian or on a bike. And then it's a question of funding for these changes. Okay. That will also be um, they'll they'll have to prioritize. All right. You know, that's, that's it's, it's a process. Okay, and so it's just beginning. So show up at the meeting on November seventh, or email your comments by November seventh at four p.m. Okay, thank you.